Hi, Premier. I'm wondering if I could get your thoughts on, on news that uh, Irving Oil is, is uh, I guess, purchased some oil from Novus and uh, is shipping that oil through uh, the Panama Canal. Any, any thoughts on that? Yeah. On the one hand, it makes me happy that uh, we were finally going to be able to supply a Canadian refinery on the East Coast with Alberta oil, but it just underscores how crazy this whole situation is because uh, this same company on, on the stage with us here, TC Energy, was trying to build the Energy East project that would have taken our oil uh, through a, a network of existing pipelines, extended them out to the St. John uh, port and refinery, so that we could have transported it out there much more safely and at a much lower environmental footprint than doing it uh, through shipments through the Panama Canal. This is how crazy it is. We just celebrated Canada today. We just celebrated the unity of this country. And it, 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 it just defies belief that we can't unite the country right now, apparently, with infrastructure to share Western energy with Eastern production and markets. I want to thank Irving Oil. I've been out there. I visited the refinery. Um, and uh, my, my friend, uh, New Brunswick Premier Blaine Higgs, uh, was an executive at Irving Oil for uh, 30 years. He understands the industry extremely well. I want to thank Irving for having made a deliberate decision to increase its use of Canadian crude and thereby reduce, at least somewhat, its imports of OPEC crude. And uh, I think that's an important expression of confidence in Canada. I want to thank Irving and the government of New Brunswick for having stood alongside us in, in, in opposition to what the Saudis were doing in April by dumping additional uh, supply on global markets in the face of a catastrophic collapse in prices. So I think this is an important expression of national unity. It will benefit Canadians on, in both the East and the West, but it underscores why we need that national pipeline infrastructure. We have not given up on that.